Euro dollar has a huge fundamental opportunity to shoot to the moon. Why am I saying this guys? Well, look, over the past few years, uh, there's been a massive monetary policy divergence between the two respective central banks. So the ECB and the Federal Reserve, so Eurozone and the United States. Uh, what does that mean? Essentially, it's when we talk about monetary policy divergence, one central bank is doing the other thing, uh, uh, the other one is doing the complete opposite. So since if you look 2018, Euro dollar at the start, around the start of 2018, was trading up at around sort of the mid 120 region, around 125. Uh, then it began to get toppy uh, because you know the markets at the time, uh, the ECB were loose uh, in terms of monetary policy. You know that picked up pace um, in the early part of 2018 and throughout 2018, even 2019. Uh, into 2020, you know, ECB were the ones that were very loose with their monetary policy. You know, they were keeping rates low, they are lowering rates, they were pumping money into the markets. Whereas the Federal Reserve in the United States were actually raising rates. They're in a rate hiking cycle um, and they weren't doing like all this stimulus like the ECB have been doing. Um, so that's why I remember it. If we're doing loads of stimulus and monetary policy is loose and rates are low, uh, the respective currency weakens. Whereas if we're raising rates, the other currency strengthens. So Euro dollar was obviously moving lower because the dollar was gaining ground versus the Euro. Um, and we saw that from early 2018 um, down to obviously 2020 where we bottomed out uh, just below that 108 area. Okay, that was all on monetary policy divergence. Now we're starting to see a shift because where the ECB have done so much, they can't really do much more. You know, they've used a lot of their weaponry as we saw their last rate decision um, this week. You know, they kept rates unchanged, um, but obviously they're doing some form of stimulus, not anything too, too drastic. But the FOMC, yeah, they've been slashing rates, emergency basis point cuts, 50 basis points that we saw, uh, still some more expected this month uh, in March. And they've also injecting cash into the market, some 1.5 trillion. Um, so very dovish. And that gap now is narrowing in terms of that, well, that divergence. Um, and that's why I believe Euro dollar will have room once things have settled this week, uh, perhaps even to next week, uh, we'll have room to extend um, you know, to the upside in, in, for the foreseeable future. This one more medium sort of long term heading back towards 120. Guys, in terms of all the technicals um, and the fundamentals, look, we do this day in, day out, freaknetwork.io. Check out our membership. Or if you want to learn these fundamentals that I'm talking about now, check out the course at forexfundamentals.io. Other than that, let's get it.